Take a trip through the Lost Library and discover what's available now from yours truly. When their parents are taken captive by a wicked necromancer and his sinister crocodile men, a pack of children from the peaceful land of Aquania must journey across their continent, meeting strange beings and confronting untold terrors in their quest to rescue their families from a witch queen eager to raise a demon lord from his fiery abode. The Young Barbarians, written by your boy Crypto, is available now in both digital and print form on Amazon.com. Published by the fine folks at the Lost Library. And support your boy Crypto by picking up a copy today. Link in the description below. Hello all you beautiful people in Webtown and welcome to Malibu Mondays on Crypto Comics. We are doing a deep dive into the back issue bins to check out the entire lineup of Ultraverse titles. Beginning with Hardcase. Now, 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 let's slow it down a little bit, okay? For all of you who aren't Kryptonites. Who haven't been here all this time checking out this great selection of 90s entertainment you've missed a lot so you're going to want to uh you're going to want to head into the back issue bins check out the playlists because you you've missed the first issue of hard case you missed the first issue of every malibu comic there is with the ultraverse imprint at the top you missed you missed it all we've done the entire run of Solitaire, one of my favorite comics from the Ultraverse. We've done not only the first issue of Mantra, but we also did uh, the first uh, five issues, I believe, of Mantra, all available in the back issue bins right here at Crypto Comics. But today we're getting started with Hard Case because we are building up to the first ever crossover in Ultraverse history. It is Breakthrough, and it's coming up. But first, Hard Case. Now, if you don't know, Hardcase is, uh, well, he's an actor turned superhero. And this chick, her name is Choice. She is uh, running, trying to escape. And these robots are coming after her. And they're, they're men in robot suits. She can fly. She can use shields. The suit provides all of this for her. This is written by James Hudnell. Art by Cranial Implant Studio. This is definitely the best piece of art in the whole comic book. I was kind of surprised. Uh, okay, let me rephrase that. I was kind of disappointed uh, in Malibu because I really loved the first issue of Hard Case, and this one was not so great. But this chick can basically come up with any power, but it will only last an hour, um, whether it's, you know, flight or invulnerability or laser blast from her eyes. Jamal Brown was a cop who was killed in the first issue of Hard Case, and, and it was kind of Hard Case's fault. He could have come back. He could have saved him. He could have helped him. Check it out in the back issue bins if you haven't yet. Excuse me, are you Hardcase? Call me Tom. My real name is Tom Hawk. Are you a relative of the deceased? I'm his brother. I'm really sorry about Jamal. I wish I'd gotten there sooner. He'd still be alive. At least you tried. You saved a lot of other cops from that lunatic. Yeah, but your brother's death. It's really been bothering me. Hey man, you didn't know what the score was. How could you know we were outclassed? We? You a cop too? Yeah, it's a family tradition. Can I get an autograph? So all the kids want autographs? Yeah, sure. Looks like you got a following. Take my card. You ever need anything, call me. Thanks, I will. Move on. Tell me in the comments below how you feel about this artwork right here. It's kind of weird. It's just weird. Where the hell is she now? Our team caught up with her in San Diego. We think she's headed for Los Angeles. Why do you think she'd come here? To attack the company headquarters? Our analysis of her psychological profile suggests she may want to meet with Hardcase. After all, we got her to believe she's an ultra hero, and Hardcase is still the most famous of the bunch. We think she may be going to him for help. <laughs> Hardcase. <laughs> what possible help could that actor give her? With all due respect, sir, Hardcase did take out that ultra last week. He's very powerful. And news of Choice's fight with our interceptors in San Diego has already been on GNS. Fortunately, the public doesn't know the interceptors work for us. Then we can still play this as her coming out, like we'd planned before. Use our press connections to make the interceptors out to be industrial saboteurs. Good idea, sir. The public has been very receptive to the Choice campaign. They like her a lot better than that clunky buffoon they trotted out over at Ultratech. That would be a prototype, issue number one, available in the back issue bins. Check it out. 
Research indicates that if she's revealed to be an ultra, it would put her over the top in popularity. Then by all means necessary, get her back. If it means killing Hardcase or anyone else in the way, do it. Just keep the public misinformed. If they found out she was running from the very company that created her, it would ruin everything. And she is. She's running from the very company that created her. And it probably would ruin everything. Diet Zing. It's how we superheroes keep our figures. So how was the funeral? Depressing, but I had to go. I tell you, Saul, I can't get over the feeling I was responsible. Tom, you can't blame yourself. So this is his agent. He's a great guy, but he lays on the fatherly routine. A bit thick. Tom, you can't blame yourself every time someone dies. Be thankful for the people you saved. Besides, since that story broke, every studio in town wants you. You're hotter than that choice woman. That's choice. Choice, yeah. She's hot, all right. I wonder where they found her. Hmm. I wonder, too. She's not with this agency, but if you hear she needs representation, give her my number. Tom? Are you there? Uh, Saul? I gotta go. Because Joyce is showing up. Oh, Ultraverse. Having a beautiful woman show up on my doorstep is no surprise these days. My address is on the map to the star's home sold in every tourist shop in L.A. And since I became a media star, seems like every woman I meet wants to get me horizontal. <laughs> but this was different. <laughs> I could sense how vulnerable she was. She came here for something other than a good time. Excellent, excellent writing, James Hudnall. God rest his soul. He, he passed away uh, in the middle of an Indiegogo campaign, I believe. It was Indiegogo. Yeah, that's pretty sad. But I do believe that uh, the other guys working with him are going to finish the book and get it out. I hope, it, I hope that happens. I presume you're looking for me. I need you. I need your help. Some people are after me. Target has made contact. Lock on hard case. Roger. What people? The company I worked for. The Choice Corporation. They did things to me. They messed with my mind, with my body, made me do things. They gave me compulsions. I don't remember much of my past anymore, who I was. And I can't change into other clothes for more than a few hours without changing back. Will you help me? I don't know what I can do, but I'll miss lunch now. Hang on. Damn. Kadoom. Damn, that was my brand new house. That house cost me two mil, clown. I love it. That house would cost a lot more today with inflation. Thanks, Biden. Mmm, doom. Okay, so there's going to be this big fight, right? This big, interestingly colored fight. That face. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, freaks. We got to get him and have to read more of that. Shit. Me, 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 mantra, you know, whatever. Don't waste your time, woman. This hypernet was designed to hold you in check. You're going back to see Mr. Dixon. No, not, not beloved comic book writer Chuck Dixon. It's not, it's Bob Dixon. Not Chuck Dixon. Big difference. Bob is his older brother. Very, not a very nice guy at all. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see. And so they're going to fight some more, you know? They just keep fighting and everything, right? And we're going to fight. We're going to drop him in front of a, a yellow semi- truck truck's gonna just cr crunch him up god i would have prevented that if you hadn't grabbed me oh well <laughs> take me back home we can question the one i left there ah hell all right pal you got some splaining to do who sent you he was sent by the choice corporation that's a lie i'm part of a group called the interceptors we take care of paranormal lunatics We've been trying to nab this woman for weeks. She's nuts and dangerous. You should have let us take her back to the mental ward where she belongs. He's lying. You've got to believe me. I think he does. If you're such a great guy, why'd you blow up my house without even talking to me first? We, uh, we, uh, uh you, you could have been crazy too. Right. Whew. Woof. Well, there's only one thing left to do now. What's that? We're going to the headquarters to find out the truth, one way or another. Coming up next, it's Hard Decisions. In Hard Case, issue number three. Yeah, it just keeps going like this, right? And uh, this choice character, she continues on. We get a different penciler here now. This is 
Jim Callahan, uh, a comic artist pro. It's no secret. This is the last thing our man's cameras were able to pick up before she destroyed the power suit. Now she's in Los Angeles and has teamed up with Hardcase. We think they're headed here to the corporate headquarters. Needless to say, we're worried. Can you help us? I think this bad guy can help you. Yes, I do. The man who isn't a man feels annoyed. These pathetic creatures continue to redefine the word inept. Bob Dixon, not Chuck Dixon, Bob Dixon, CEO of the Choice Corporation, has been given fire by this modern Prometheus, J.D. Hunt. The man who isn't a man wonders if he did the right thing providing these mortals with such power. Bob, how the hell can you be such a loser? I helped you make that woman into an ultra against my better judgment because we're pals, but I also gave you the means to control her. How'd she break them mental bonds you placed on her? How'd your girl Candy stop being your plaything and end up joining the strangers? You can check that out in The Strangers Number One, uh, the prostitute chick. Uh, she becomes uh, a, an ultra. Check it's it's interesting, and it's important to the ultraverse story. The Strangers and Nightman kind of cross over, and then the Strangers are going to show up here soon. Be be aware. Uh, How'd your girl Candy stop being your plaything and end up joining the Strangers? Uh, that's beside the point. And don't believe everything you read in that ultra reg. Enough. I didn't come here to listen to your childish prattle. I came here to offer a solution to your problem. I've decided to provide you with some help for two reasons. One, I want to see Hardcase fall. Two, I want to test out a band of ultra assassins I've concocted. This bunch, I call them... What do you think I'll call them? The Omega Team! They're still in the house. I'm talking to the police. We'll move when the cops leave. And he is dressed like he is from the early 90s, and I love it absolutely so very much. And, you know, Hardcase is just telling him what, what's happened here. No, you know, Detective Brown, remember me? Call me Chuck. Are you on this case? It's not my jurisdiction, but I'm friends with the Ventura Sheriff, so I thought I'd help out. Thanks, but I think I can handle things. By the way, this is Choice. Hey, let me do the introduction to you. These guys in the power suits, they wanted her. Take her back to the... Choice Corporation. Force her to go there. Is that true? No. I, I don't know who those men were. What? Why is she lying? What? Why are you lying? A couple hours ago, you were telling me a whole different story. I'm sorry. I, I can't talk about it right now. My man? Sounds like you need to work this out. But let me give you some advice. Don't go take it on the Choice Corporation. Unless you have some hard evidence. They have some nasty lawyers on their payroll. There'll be criminal charges coming your way if you mess with them. Don't worry. Just tell me what that bozo has to say when he's questioned. He might drop some hints that'll help me figure out some hard case. Uh, we're with Channel 7. Who attacked you? We're with Channel 2. You have any comments? Oh, great. Chuck, could you watch my place for a bit? I gotta get out of here. Let's go. They're headed for the beach. Let's do them. We need to talk. This is as good a place as any. Give me some answers. I don't have any answers. I don't know. The words didn't come out the way I wanted them to. It must be the conditioning they gave me. They really messed with my mind. I don't even remember who I really am or was. Shields! Zoom! Let's go! Kadoom! Cough, cough. They won't stop. I'm going to fight them. I've had enough of this crap. So he fights these guys who look like they belong in uh, the extreme sacrifice or... Yeah, the extreme sacrifice... Extreme Prejudice, I don't know, one of these stupid Rob Liefeld comics from right before he uh, left Image Comics or was kicked out or however you want to look at it. But, they, you know, they get in this fight. And they're going back and forth. Whatever. We got a crack coom, but not a crack of doom. We got a crack. Don't do crack. I like this shot. That's nice. That's a nice panel. Very sweet. Choice, are you okay? Needles. Oh, hold on, Let's just take a sec. There, feel better? I will, if you believe me now. Ah, oh, what a thing to say. Obviously, someone's out to get you, but there's not much we can do if you can't tell other people your story. I don't know why, but it's easy for me to talk to you. Anyone else? And the words come out wrong. So stupid. And here come, there they come. But let's get, here, let's get to what's going on here. We don't know what's happening. We're looking into it. Well, 
At least some of her conditioning is still holding. That buys us some time. I suggest a more subtle approach if you want to get her back, Bob. Agreed. In fact, I suggest you don't do anything. I'll deal with this matter from now on. I've already sent a crew to take care of the cleanup process. What does that mean? Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, we're with the government, but we're dressed really weird for being with the government. Oh, uh, government, that's getting on my nerves. Let's go. Shoosh. Why are you so upset? Wouldn't you be upset if crazy people were trying to kill you? They are. But that's not what's on your mind, is it? Well, yeah. A few months ago, I thought I was the only ultra around. There was security in that. I could relax. Now they're coming out of the woodwork. It's crazy. For example, where'd you come from? And how do you get those powers? It's a long story, and I only remember bits and pieces. Well, let's kick back in the jacuzzi where you can tell me all about it. If there are no more interruptions, that is. Ha <laughs> ha, let me open this door. Whoa, what's happening? Hi, we need to talk. Next issue, Strangers in the Night. That's right, because in issue number four, the strangers and hard case cross over. What? Right? And I don't know how I feel about the strangers. I kind of know how I feel. Well, I'm... I don't want to talk about my feelings about the strangers quite yet. I don't know who you people are, but you picked a bad day to piss me off. And me. We're the strangers. The only one I actually like is this one. She's really cool looking. That's it. And this guy's power is weird. He can just turn things into different things. He can turn a rock into a donut, as you'll see. And they come here to ask Hardcase how to be superheroes. It was they figured, they traveled from San Francisco to LA. And they figured, you know, he'd know because he's been uh, a hero the longest. And he's like, I need to take a shower. Why don't you hang out by the pool? And so they hang out by the pool and then he comes out. Okay, everyone, I feel better now. Why aren't you wearing something that's more poolside in nature? Hard case? Hmm. Sorry, I was so rude before, but this was a crazy day. So, you want to know about the superhero business, huh? Whatever you can tell us, we're new to this. Guess so, if I've never heard of you. <laughs> Why don't we start with some introductions? Who are you, and what do you do? And then to find out who they are and what they do, you need to check out um, the Crypto Comics review on The Strangers, available in the back issue bins. Here, at Crypto Comics. Check that Malibu Comics playlist. Let's talk about Hard Case. Uh, anyway, I got into this business by accident. Two years ago, I was just another guy trying to break into Hollywood. One day, I was doing a reading for a new TV series. Okay, Milo, you think this is the hard stuff, but I'm telling you, man, the hard stuff is later. It starts when all of a sudden... What? All of a sudden, I felt this surge of power, and my muscles ripped through my clothes. Bravo, bravo! I didn't get the part. All I got was embarrassed. And the phone numbers of the women in the room. I went straight home. None of my clothes fit anymore, except some gym stuff. I turned on the news to see if anything like this had happened to anyone else. I wonder if it did. Sure enough, the news was about three people in the L.A. area who'd experienced bursts of power. Each case was different. The three had no idea what happened to them, just like me. There were rumors of other events, but none confirmed. I managed to get the three together. We met at a public place and started to talk. We decided to team up. Before we knew it, we were a national sensation on the cover of almost every magazine. And I want to point out, like, how this guy has these poofy sleeves, and look, he flies. You know, we're, he's like a little, he's like a, a human butterfree. It's a free plug, Pokemon. You owe me money. Our careers were innocent enough in the beginning. We did charity work for the disadvantaged. We also started getting some ad work, which paid nicely. Don't leave home without it. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wanted to get Jack links, but they'd already spent all their money on Brock Lesnar. We got ourselves a nice office in Century City, along with a secretary to handle all the mail and calls we were getting. She was so good, I kept her on after the squad died. After the squad died. He's haunted by it. He truly is. Check out hard case number one. Yo, hold up a sec. I thought you were going to tell us what it's like to be an ultra. The money part's cool, but what about the action? Oh, you wanted to hear about all the fights and stuff. I thought you were just interested in the business side of things. Well, let's continue, shall we? 
Mayor Bradley gave us the sanction to help the police out in dangerous cases where cops could get killed. We started out with simple things like crack houses. We later moved on to bank robbers and the like. It all seemed so easy. Co rump. Ka rump a bum bum. Normal criminals were no match for us. Then the feds sent some people to recruit us. They said they were from a group called Aladdin. You're all doing great work in LA, but your country could put you to better use. Use? I hear that. Listen up. I saw JFK. I know what kind of use the government puts people to. Don't believe that, Oliver Stone Trash. We're the good guys. Aladdin helps Ultras live up to their full potential. I think I can speak for the squad when I say that we're leery of working for some agency we never heard of. We'll have to say no thanks to your offer. A week later, it all ended. Oh my. Forza was having a housewarming party. He just bought a new place in the valley. It was well underway when it came out of nowhere. Before anyone could react, it killed half the people in the room. I tried to stop it, but it was too fast, too powerful. It took all of Forza's psionic power just to throw the creature out of the house and into a nearby drainage canal. That's where the final battle took place. Where my friends died. Where I almost died. But I was stronger than my friends. You know, I just realized something. I can't believe it took me this long to figure it out. That thing attacked us not long after we rejected Aladdin's offer of employment. It might be possible they sent it to get rid of us for some reason that I'm... Not too clear on quite yet, but I imagine if I keep investigating this lead through the issues of my comic book, I might find out the answer. We had a run-in with some spook types recently, but they didn't identify themselves. I wonder if they were the same people. I say we pay these clowns a visit and see what they're made of. If they're looking for trouble, I'll give it to them. One moment, friends. What evidence do we have that they were behind the attack of the creature? Beyond this, mere speculation. Well, for one thing, a bunch of government types showed up on the beach the other day. They carted off some wackos. They were dressed really, really weird. When I was, uh, working for J.D. Hunt, I overheard a lot of things about Aladdin. He enhanced some people for them so they'd have ultra agents. They kept them in a base in Nevada, a place called Groom Lake. What? That's Area 51! No way! then why don't we pay them a surprise visit? I'm sure we can find out the truth. Now you're talking. Word. Jeez. <sighs> Las Vegas, Nevada, late afternoon the next day. They board a plane. He turns a rock into a donut. They drive a van. They get to Groom Lake. Security tells them, "No, nope, you can't. You can't come in. You got to turn around." It was, a, and then he gets on the radio. It was a, it was a van filled with ultras, hard case, choice, and apparently the strangers. Huh? Maybe we should split up and head in there, anyways. Let's do it. Here we go. We're coming in, and then Dirt Devil shows up. Now you got to tangle with the Dirt Devil. Big deal. Your name's as stupid as you look. I hate smart mouths. Hey, looks like we found it. I hope they haven't spotted us. Bad news, we did. Hell, I gotta whip up some dirt bikes. This walking isn't for me. Can you really do that? Probably not, but I'd like to. Can it? I think I hear. What? Hey! Let's land. I hear the others screaming. Something's wrong. Too late. Oh no, we're getting, we're getting in trouble. That's right, kids. Welcome to Aladdin Land. To be continued in The Strangers, number four, coming up soon on Crypto Comics. The Solution, we have reviewed issue number one, back issue bins, check it out. It was just like a week ago. Let me check that out. The face of comics is about to change. With Firearm number zero, they made a movie. You can watch it right here on Crypto Comics. Again, in the back issue bins. It's all about that Malibu playlist. Don't have that flood relief comic, because losing sucks. Now nah, we're getting close. We're getting close, kitties. This uh, this actually got good. Okay, so whatever happens in The Strangers, you'll find out later. Uh, this starts kind of a new arc, but he's still with the chick. Let's just start here. Dana Point, California. 
Johnny Wong lives in the kind of place most people only dream about. His lifestyle is just as lavish, all paid for by a successful career running drugs. But tonight, the party's over. Bring, bring, don't answer. Damn, must be important. Yeah? Johnny, it's you and get out of there. The operators need someone over to kill you. One guy. Don't be ridiculous. My guards will look after me. There's no way one guy could get through my guys unless he's hard case or prime. Friends and enemies, part one. The first cut. Hmm. Written by James Hudnall. Penciled by Scott Benefiel. I hope I pronounced that right, Scott. Time's up, folks. You just lost the grand prize. Your life. Death. And then Chuck's investigating it. Hey, what's going on, huh? How you doing? Hey, good to see you, Tom. Yeah, I wanted to ask you a question about when you were over at my house last Friday, uh, watching it after it got uh, exploded. Hold on a sec. I've never been to your house. What are you talking about? You were at my house. Yeah, I saw you. I've never met you. I've never been to your house. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, this is, this is weird, but wait a second. Wait a second. You didn't have a mustache last time. That's right. Oh, I wonder what's going on here. Looks like we should maybe team up. Let's figure out more about Bob Dixon, head of the Choice Corporation. And we need to visit their headquarters without another incident. Come in, come in. It's good to see you. I must say I was surprised that you had a police detective make your appointment for you. We just wanted you to know who our friends are. I see. Well then, why don't you have a seat and I'll have my girl bring in some coffee. No thanks, Dixon. This isn't a social call. She's so scared. He abused her. Suit yourself. So what do you want to talk about? I'm a busy man. Point blank. I want you to leave Choice alone. Quit sending your goons after her. And I want you to pay for the damage you did to my house. I just bought it for two million bucks. C.S. LaFemme. What do you have to say about that, Choice? Mm -mm, I can't speak. What did you do to her, you bastard? I'd be careful if I were you, Mr. Hawk. This whole conversation is being videotaped. I don't see any cameras. They're hidden. And I assure you I'll press charges if you continue this rude behavior. Choice, are you okay? Can you talk? No, like a tie in the wind. Abadoo, abadoo. Ow. Ow. She was locked up by a voice command. Only I could free her. What's the point? The point is, you're in a position to demand nothing. Choice has a five-year contract with us. As for someone trying to abduct her, that's not something we would do. We use lawyers, Mr. Hawk. Okay, I see what game you're playing. But listen, she's under my protection. This meeting's over. Let's go on. This is great. These kids come across the, the robot machine that killed the squad. Yo, it's light. I, I can't believe how easy I can lift it up. <laughs> this whip. And sticks in his forehead. Sticks in his forehead. It takes total control of him. Ah! Carlos, Carlos, what's going on, man? Whoosh! Oh! I love it. To live and die in L.A. Its name is Nanotech Mechanized Entity. NME, for short. More than a year ago, it was nearly blasted to atoms. But because it's composed entirely of molecule-sized machines... It was able to reconstruct its own head. Now that it's assumed control of this biological organism, it can finish the job. It has a mission to perform, and so many people to kill. I can't believe that SOB. I swear I was ready to kill him when he pulled that stunt on you. It was horrible. He still has some sort of control over me, but I feel my will to resist getting stronger every day. Boink, boing. This guy's just watering it. I like this. I like this panel. Century City rises above the west side of L.A., Peering down on Beverly Hills and Westwood with cold glass eyes. It's a center of power. And like every center of power, the world over, it has its power brokers. Miss Trent? Her name is Sandra Trent. Some people call her the operator. But never to her face. Yes. Rex Mundy's here to see you. Send him in. There's only one man in the world that she fears and respects. And he's just walked in the door. Rex, darling. How good to see you again. Give us a kiss. So, what can I do for you? I've helped you gain control of the West Coast. Now it's time you paid the devil his due. Oh, he kind of reminds me of William Shatner a little bit. I like it. 
just drops him on the ground. You want to know something? Despite all the craziness of the past week, being with you's been great. Why don't we get changed? Hit the town. Do something fun for once. Sounds good to me. I hate to spoil the moment, but we have some things to discuss. Who the hell are you? To you, I'm a friend. To our mutual enemy, I'm the alternate. That's Judy Garland. That is totally Judy Garland. What's that supposed to mean? As you know, I have a desire to see all the Ultras killed off. But it's proven to be difficult this time. There's one in particular I have a special dislike for. His name is Hardcase. Not only did he escape enemy, my pride and joy, he thoroughly defeated a team I created to kill him. And if I hadn't acted quickly, they would have been all over the news. Before I let myself get upset with this insect, I want to delegate his destruction to someone else. To you, my dear. You have more enemies than you think, Hardcase, but they all pale in significance to someone you've never even heard of. Rex Mundi. I can't even begin to tell you how powerful and influential he is. You wouldn't believe me anyway, but I can tell you this. If you think your life has been crazy up till now, you haven't seen anything yet. I know a lot of things that can be a great help to your continued survival. Whether you live or die is entirely up to you. I love this page. Really nice layout. It'll only take one phone call. The phone rings and the killer scowls. He pauses in the middle of his favorite snuff film, feeling annoyed. But then he hears the voice of his employer. Suddenly, he's filled with pleasure. Because she only calls for one reason. I have a job for you. It's hard case. I'll double your rate. This one's on me. Can we get in? Don't worry, we're celebrities. Of course we can get in. He's stalking them. And he's dressed like John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. Which I don't know if that came out at this point. But I think so. And they danced and they danced and he watched and stalked. And there he is right there. There he is again. I can't wait to get to Rune. I'm really excited for Rune. I can't believe I said that. It'll only be a minute. Nice car. Nice car. Thanks. Cost me 80 grand. Jack, too bad it's in my way. Hey, what the hell? Who are the names Hardwire? Eddie Slamo. Likewise. You're good. And you're screwed. That car cost me 80 grand. Tell me why you trashed it before I bounce you off the asphalt. I don't talk to corpses. What? You, you cut me. Nothing can cut. What's going on out? No, Tom, please, no. He's coming for it. Now, hold on. Wait a second. Let me just, can I ask a question? Is it in this one? We'll wait. We'll wait. Let me go on. It's not in this one. Oh, 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 what, what? Oh, there it is, you know, the elusive rune issue D with the LGBTQ necklace. And uh, actually, I think I might have all of these. It makes this bigger image, right? That's super fun, huh? And uh, yeah, we might, I might, I might have something. Oh, look, it's issue 10, 11, 12. Hmm, I wonder if this all makes rune issue zero. I don't know. I, we're not going to find out right now because we've got odd case number six. And here he comes. The uh, Is that the, the, the guitarist or the bassist for uh, Limp Bizkit, right? That's him. Uh, What's his name? Wes? I think his name's Wes. I'm not sure. Him and Fred Durst hated each other, I believe. So this is what it's like to be dead. I don't feel any emotion. No pain. I'm looking down at my body with an almost scientific curiosity. Weird. Choice. I'm sorry I had to die before I could help you with your problems. Tom! Guess I'm no good to anyone. Guess this is all for the... No, he's the one who killed me. Hardwire. Jumping over that hood. It is, it's the guy, yeah, it is totally the guy from Limp Bizkit. He's got his black contacts in and everything. Tom, please don't be dead. Twice. Turn around, get your shield working. Move! She doesn't hear me. Once again. I have to watch someone I care about get killed. 
Shields. Oh, whap. I don't have orders to kill you. I'm supposed to take you in, so. Force beam, Quoom. Flight, strength, damn. Please don't die, Tom. I'll get you to a hospital as fast as I can. I feel myself pulled along by my body, as if there's some kind of cord connecting us. Maybe I'm not dead after all, but this is crazy. And then I see her. Go back, Tom. Go back while you still can. You have some important work ahead of you. Linda! Linda! I start to come back from my mental vacation. I see something like an angel hovering over me. Maybe I really am dead. Nope. No angel. Close enough for me, though. Tom, darling, you're alive. If you say so. You won't find a toy like this in any Cracker Jack box. It's Lethal Enforcers for the Sega CD from Konami. Tick, tick, tick. Yes, I nailed him. But the woman got away with his body before I could stop her. And I started checking hospitals. She took him to Kaiser in the valley. I'm sure I aced him, but he's still there. Dude's tougher than I thought. If he's in a hospital, the media will be there soon. They already are. Then he can't do anything now. We'll get him later. In the meantime, I have another job for you. We're about to record a new album. Stinky starfish in the hot dog flavored water. This Justin, hard case has been seriously wounded by an unknown assailant believed to be an ultra. He was admitted in critical condition somewhere, far away, deep within the earth. The man who isn't a man feels amused. Someone has managed to hurt Hardcase more than he's ever been able to. But not good enough, it seems. No matter. Soon I'll be able to wipe out all these Ultras with the very thing that made them. I like this. This is fun. We're having some good times here. He commands a wall to open for him, and it does with pleasure. A corridor forming for his passage. The living walls shaping themselves to his will. The time has come to address his troops. Here he comes. So let me get this straight. You can create breaches in time and space? How'd you manage that one? It's a long story. You like to do them with your hands? I can take that. I prefer swords myself. And what do you like to do when you're not killing people? Let's get down to business. I brought you here for the most important mission of your life. And the most perilous. This guy? You hired this guy? Okay. You've been hired to obtain... You've been hired to obtain an object for me. An object that others are certain to be looking for. This object must be taken at any cost. Those who try to stop you must be killed without question. So where is this thing? The moon. What? No way. Detective Brown, LAPD. I'm here to see Tom Hawk. He comes in. He's got the Lakers hat on, so that's fun. And Tom's doing good, you know. Hard case is, is going to make it, it looks like. So who attacked you? What did it look like? I know him. It was hard wire, of course. His fingers extend monofilaments. Molecule-thin wires that can cut through almost anything. And then he morphs. What the hell? The time for pretense is over. I'm going to need your help and not a moment too soon. I've no time for explanations. Suffice to say, you have one chance to get him, and that's tonight. You again, the alternate. Call me Regina. So you're the one who showed up at my house last week. She was impersonating the detective, but she didn't have the mustache. Who are you? Why are you messing with my life? I'm not causing your problems. I'm trying to help you survive. You're still an amateur, Tom. Your enemies, however, are pros. Help me out, and I'll answer some important questions for you including the mystery of Choice's past. RoboCop 3 for the Sega Genesis and Game Gear. And then Tom's agent and his secretary showed up, but, you know, we can't let you in right now. I'm here to see Hard Case. You got a twin brother or something? Listen, you're both going to need me if you want to keep alive. Here's a card. It has Hardwire's address on it. He'll be there for another hour or two. Hey, how do you know where he'll be? Stay out of the reach of his hands, and be careful. He has enhanced strength and reflexes. What's going on in here? I'll meet you tomorrow night at the Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood. 
Be in the lobby by 8 p.m. That's when I'll tell you more. Who was that? Good question. We'd like to know ourselves. Garden Grove is a magnet community for Asian immigrants. And as with any immigrants, so come the criminals, the triads. Every home on the street belongs to the Dragon Fang Triad. Some house members, others are used for business. Hardwire knows he's free to clean out everyone. The thought makes him warm and happy. Where's the kimchi? Did someone eat the kimchi? How about some sliced pork bun instead? One down, 25 to go. <laughs> hey, buddy. Anything good on TV? Yeah, the adventure's a hard case. Keesh! Don't know how you found me, but I sure am. A sorry son of a bitch. Force beams. Oh, sh -ka doom Oh, for a crack. This guy can't get a break. I enjoyed that. Be careful. He could be faking after that punch. Uh-oh. Looks like we woke up the neighborhood. I used up my shields earlier. It'll be another hour before I can get them back. Don't worry. You're with me. He does a little slice there. Time to vamoose. Wee -woo, wee -woo. Damn! The police showed up right on time. Let me help him clean up the mess. Then we can go home. Hurry back. I surrender, guys. I'm unarmed. See? Not yet. Yeah, pok pok. You, you son of a, you friggin' hard case. Why'd you do that? He would have killed you, so I dislocated his shoulders. Make sure you keep his hands locked up at all times. Once a doctor resets his arms. Sheesh. And I thought he was just a poser. Dude's hardcore. My kind of guy. Ready to go home? Am I? What a night this has been. Yet there is the moon. Taunting us. What a night, she said. I couldn't have said it better myself. We'd have probably ended up in bed together if the night hadn't gone sour. By the time we got home... We both just wanted to head for Zville, but I can't sleep. I just lie here thinking about that crazy hallucination I had. It must have been a hallucination. I don't believe in ghosts and all that crap. It was a hallucination, wasn't it? To be continued. Now, here's the thing, my people. What's going to happen in the future here on Crypto Comics when we return to Hard Case? We are going to be returning to Hard Case issue number seven. The breakthrough issue. The Ultraverse's first multi-title crossover in company history. And it's coming up this December at Crypto Comics. Now, if you like this video, please thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, hit that ding dong for notifications. And if you're looking for a great story of your own to read, Buy your boy Crypto's book. It's available on Amazon in digital imprint. It's called The Young Barbarians. Available now from the Lost Library.